Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Emergency measures have been taken to secure a supply of HIV drugs after a period of inavailability. Health Minister Dr. The Honorable Dwayne Sands told ZNS News that drugs are now in stock and accessible to thousands of HIV patients, though there are concerns about accommodating a new category of patients. Kishla Adderley reports. The problem has meant that some vendors have been without HIV drugs for as long as two weeks, prompting the government to take emergency action. We would have sourced um, an emergency supply, uh, obviously not the what we call the par level. We don't like to drop below a certain amount. We have dropped below that amount, and uh, we've also made good on an outstanding uh, invoice to the supplier in India. Now that that's been done, upon receipt of payment, the medicine will be shipped to the Bahamas. But Dr. Sands concedes that drug volumes may become an issue again. The medicines that were brought in, how, how long are they going to last? Well, we don't know. We have roughly 8,000 patients who are uh, HIV positive. We are trying to get to a point where every single HIV positive patient is on therapy. We're nowhere near that right now. And with the clash between monetary shortfalls and new medical standards come new demands and costs. It used to be that we would wait until people with HIV had their CD4 count or their T helper cell level drop below a certain point. At that point, we would start treating them with antiretroviral therapy. We now realize that everybody who is HIV positive should be on therapy. That new approach means that instead of having 2,000 people on antiretroviral therapy, we ought to get to 8,000. We're nowhere near that right now. But we want to identify everybody and get them on medication. And that has implications for government budgets, though Dr. Sands notes that drug and supply availability is often fueled by manufacturing challenges, market recalls, and other factors. Finances continue to stand in the way of remedying deficiencies in health care. We have had challenges with funding across the health care system uh, year over year for more than five years. We have had an average deficit in PHA funding of around $28 million per year. We anticipate that the deficit this year could be even higher, potentially. We would have had to use some of the NHI-designated funding for PHA recurrent and uh, uh, other expenses. So this challenge of healthcare finance in an archipelagic nation is a huge issue. The simple answer, Dr. Sands says, make waste reduction, expense cuts, and revenue increases all emergency issues. Keish Latterly, ZNS Network News.